So here's the basic prototype circuit for um, for modulating the infrared and uh, obviously I'm not doing this with infrared right now just to make sure it works and I can see everything. Um, so I just have the blink sketch here loaded on this little uh, nano knockoff board um, and uh, we're toggling I'm toggling a single digital pin pin 5 over here uh, into a transistor which is switching on and off these nine LEDs. So um, I've already coded and prototyped out uh, using a timer to drive the LEDs at 15 kilohertz um, and toggle them on and off. Uh, so the next step is to load that up onto the Arduino and uh, toggle these guys pretty fast and that should be a modulated infrared. So here we go, a couple minutes later, nice and easy, upload a PWM sketch. Um, so we're driving pin 13, a fast PWM and a 50% duty cycle. And all that's doing is switching on and off the transistor. Um, uh, we are switching on and off at a rate of 15 kilohertz. And you can see I've got nine LEDs on there and they are all super bright. Uh, so this is great. This is going to work out very nicely for modulating the uh, the IR transmitters on the uh, big bagpipe canter. So um, that's it. So last video in the series here. We've got a, a infrared LED a photo. Sorry, infrared photoresistor, infrared LED. Uh, they're both wired up together down here to this Arduino board, which looks a complete and utter mess, but it's just all thrown together. So basically over here is the um, switching transistor being driven with PWM signal, uh, our Arduino, and then here is our uh, emitter collector configuration um, on the uh, photoresistor. So like I said, it all looks a bit of a mess in there, but um, it's all wired incorrectly and seems to work. Uh, so here you can see our uh, sensor pair and the trigger set to a value of one. So that's why you're seeing some threes there. Uh, so uh, essentially this IR LED is um, toggled on and off at 15 kilohertz. And then the output from this photoresistor is put through a bandpass filter centered on 15 kilohertz. Uh, so if you look at the numbers down in the left, you can see basically they're not really moving at all. And I have the flashlight shot right on that, super bright. Um, uh, and then by comparison, if I put my fingers over here and reflect the light back from the LED to the photoresistor, you can see numbers scrolling away. So very little rise on the photoresistor, but that's okay because it'll work just fine for what we need. flashlight back so you can show it's really not doing anything and uh, finger again 